വെൽക്കം ടു കൗമുദി ഗ്ലോബൽ ഇന്ത്യസ് നാഷണൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻ ഏജൻസി എൻ ഐ എ ആൻഡ് അതർ മേജർ ഇന്റലിജൻസ് ഏജൻസീസ് ദ നാർക്കോട്ടിക്സ് കൺട്രോൾ ബ്യൂറോ ആർ നൗ ഓൺ ദ ഹാൻഡ് ഫോർ എ പാകിസ്ഥാനി നാഷണൽ ഹാജി സലീം ഹാവ് യു ഹേർഡ് സച്ച് എ നെയിം ബിഫോർ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് സച്ച് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഇസ് ദ ഇൻ കറാച്ചി ഹി ഈസ് നോട്ട് ടു ബിലോങ് ടു ദ നോട്ടോറിയസ് ഡ്രഗ് ഗാങ് ഹാജി സലാം നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് ബട്ട് റിയലി who is this haji salim it is not clear but he is a big threat to india's national security not only for india but also for sri lanka haji's main job is to smuggle heroin sri lanka is the transit point of this international group as reports suggest the aim is to revive the ltte which was uprooted in lanka it has also been reported that they are using the sleeper cells of dead ltte activists in lanka for drug trafficking they are getting the support of pakistan spy agency isi the plan is to smuggle heroin from afghanistan through pakistan to sri lanka and from sri lanka to india then to kerala through sleeper cell gangs so where will the activities of the group come and stay in india we should be alert and afraid pakistan's drug mafia is holed up in kerala itself it was a shocking information for both NIA and NCB NIA has also received evidence linking the perpetrators of the recent Coimbatore and Mangalore blast to the group that carried out the suicide bomb blast at shrines in Sri Lanka Clearly all these events are interconnected Intelligence agencies importantly National Intelligence Bureau were monitoring the Sri Lankan carriers who were regularly transporting heroin there in fishing boats and from there to Kerala As a result of this searches reached Indian shores drugs 5 AK47s and 1000 rounds of ammunition were seized from the Sri Lankan vessel it was from then that a drug mafia based in Karachi was found to be smuggling large quantities of drugs to the island nation of Sri Lanka the agencies found that Haji Salim a Pakistani national was behind this drug smuggling to Sri Lanka His identity was first revealed during an investigation by the Narcotics Control Bureau which investigated various cases of drug seizures from Sri Lankan ships in recent years. His name also appeared in the NCB prop into the seizure of 3 Sri Lankan ships with narcotics off the Kerala coast in March this year. Later intelligence agencies started monitoring this syndicate. Heroin from Afghanistan is brought to Tarbat on the Pakistan Iran border. later it is loaded onto ships from smaller ports in iran and pakistan medications are transported to small vessels on the high seas sri lanka is used as a transit point for drugs from where they are transported to india as well as australia haji salim network which is headquartered in karachi is notorious and has been involved in the international drug business for years sri lankan nationals linked to the ltte were found to have conspired with pakistani drug gangs to smuggle drugs and arms it is believed that the conspiracy to smuggle drugs took place in dubai where haji salim is a regular visitor some of the accused arrested by the nia in connection with the seizure of narcotics and ak47 from a sri lankan ship kept off the kerala coast were linked to this said haji salim nia has made haji salim an accused in the case related to the seizure of 5 AK47s and 1000 rounds of ammunition from a Sri Lankan ship on March 18 besides Sri Lanka natives Anju and Deepa Rajan Rankan are also being monitored by national investigating agency they sought information about them under the provisions of the mutual legal assistance treaty signed with Lanka NIA has sought the help of Interpol to trace Haji Salim at the earliest indian officials are hoping that in the pols red corner notice will be issued soon in a similar case including the seizure of heroin from a sri lankan ship near tutukudi last year ncb had found pakistani nationals in sri lankan jails using fishing vessels to smuggle drugs money from smuggling and illegal drug sales is being used to revive ltte nia has also found that they are smuggling large quantities of drugs and weapons to neighboring countries including India and Sri Lanka in even fishing boats from the coast of Pakistan after the killing of LTT leader Velu Pillai Prabhakaran 
they are misusing the sleeping cells of the dead LTT workers for drug trafficking. Through these sleeper cells, the notorious Pakistani pulses flows in Indian veins. Anyway, NIA is expanding the investigation on the basis of the statements given by C. Gunashekharan, a native of Sri Lanka who was arrested by NIA. The statement contains very shocking findings. Here are some of them. Gunashekharan has revealed that Haji Salim network is providing money to reactivate the LTTE's activities in India as well as other countries. Whooping sums are paid as reward for smuggling drugs and weapons by sea. The nationals of Iran have also been appointed for drug and arms trafficking. NIA will record the statements of Sri Lankan nationals including Gunashekaran who are in Tiruchirappilli jail in Tamil Nadu. Haji Salim's gang collects drugs from Afghanistan, weapons from Pakistan. The statements of the accused also indicate that they are getting strong support of Pakistan's spy agency, ISI. NIA also found that Sharik, who was caught with injuries in the blast, had stayed in Kerala before the blast. Along with this news, there is another news that should be read. The continuous arrest of ISI spies from West Bengal has raised concerns. The fourth Pakistani spy was arrested this year from Siliguri. Siliguri in West Bengal is a region that shares common border with Nepal and Bhutan. The Home Department is taking the active presence of Pakistani spies very, very seriously. It is the entire country's security that lies in various defense forces here. But what about the agencies that give correct tip-offs to such forces and at the end making us all safe at home, but they working tirelessly with fear and tear. Let such terrorist forces and leaders get wiped out from our country at the earliest. I am Shreya signing off. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to send us any news or feedback, please send it us on kaumudiglobal at gmail.com.